This is a follow-up video to the last one I did about the minimalist XP look. And this time I'm going to include Windows 7 and show you how to do the same thing there. But before I do that, I'm going to show you an updated version of what I did with my XP. You'll probably like it. It's definitely different. Uh, my XP does not take too long to load here, so it'll be just a second. All right, there we go. And log in. Now, I've done a couple of interesting things with this. Uh, instead of having the taskbar on the top, I decided to put it on the left. This is the start menu. Very minimal. I got it even smaller and uh, went with a classic style. And I was able to get the recycle bin here into the taskbar instead of an icon on the desktop because I found that there are times I need to get to the recycle bin where I can just open it up and look at it and I also changed the fonts around a little bit to go back to uh, Tahoma and the highlight is now a green with a uh, lime text so I'm gonna really quickly show you how I did this to achieve this look see the previous video to this one anyway here we go so what I did is that in the taskbar, which I previously had like this, okay, I moved it over to the left, and which looks like this. Now, if you go really small, now if you go too small, it disappears. So you gotta have it at least this length. It only shows the Windows logo without the word Start, which is looks fine to me. And then what you do to get rid of the, rid of this line here, you have to adjust the size a little bit first before you uh, lock the taskbar. Then you just right click on an empty area and lock the taskbar. And then when you launch applications they will show below as running and then you can minimize and go back to them and so on. Now how I got this is simply I right click on the start menu, go to properties and I use the classic start menu instead of regular start menu. I go to customize and these are the options here. Uh, check the one that says show small icons in start menu if you don't do that um, what happens and I'll show you as soon as it decides to uh, take the setting here is you get this now you may want this where it says Windows XP professional on the left and the larger because it does look kinda neat but I prefer having complete minimalism so or at least in this setup so I do show small icons and wait 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 and then you get this now if you want to go even further and you'll have to google this you can use tweak UI which is power toys for Windows XP if you go to win uh, go to Google and search for Windows XP power toys you'll see tweak UI be a little careful when you go through this because uh, there is no undo <laughs> for this stuff and you can go into, uh, let's see, taskbar and start menu. Yeah, start menu. You can go in here and turn on and off a whole bunch of different stuff. So if you want to check that out. Now, Windows 7. All right, let me just minimize this. If you want to achieve the same look I did in XP in Windows 7, it's totally doable. Just right click and go to personalize on the desktop. Now, the way to do it here. It's a little tricky, but it yes, it is doable. Uh, what you can do is choose this, the uh, theme as Windows Classic, where it says basic and high contrast themes. So if I do that, okay, so now we have the uh, basic uh, theme here, which looks like Windows 2000 and old XP. Now from here, what you have to do is on the bottom here where it says uh, Window Color, open that up and this is where you get that section that I showed in the XP thing where you can go and change the 3D object and change that to black and then to gray and then you start going from there uh, again watch the previous video to this one to see what settings to change here and then you can achieve the same look so yeah you can have just icons only when you put it on the uh, left or the right as a matter of fact if I take this and I put it on the right 
I don't like having menus on the right, but if you want to, you can do it like this too if you want. The reason is because all the menus point to the right and you want a natural progression of left to right. When you're doing this, it's pointing to nowhere <laughs> and it goes backwards, which is why I actually uh, excuse me, prefer to have the menu on the left side and lock taskbar. So there's some more options for you and yes you can achieve the same thing in Vista in 7 if you just go into the uh, personalization area and choose a classic theme and then modify it the way I showed and you can get this.